Good morning. So, since 2016, when the original Land Rover Defender was cancelled, a number of um, competitors have sprung up to kind of fill that gap. Uh, of course, the brand new Defender was released in 2019, uh, but we've had, and if you, I made a blog on this before, uh, we had the Ovid Crossway come in, we've got the Ineos uh, Grenadier um, aiming to be the, the spiritual successor of the Defender, but now there's a brand new all electric four wheel drive coming, and it's made right here in Scotland, and it's called the Monroe. So here it is the Monroe, uh, all electric, made in East Kilbride. It looks very Tonka tour like, very angular. Right, so I'm here with Marcus from Monroe Vehicles. Talk me through the vehicle here. Yes, so this is um, our second prototype vehicle. This is the pickup variant that we offer. So, 280 kilowatt motor, 190 mile range. You can do rapid charging in under 30 minutes at 100 kilowatt. Yeah, sort of as you can see um, with the design, very utilitarian vehicle built mainly for off-road applications within certain sectors of construction, mining, quarrying, agriculture. Um, those are the sort of big target sectors that we're looking at for at the moment with the vehicle. Uses very heavy duty, well-known automotive, automotive manufacturing components, ABB, Bosch, Bog Warner, etc. So yeah, very much built for heavy use cases within these sectors that are carbon intensive and need to decarbonize and as we all know the move to net zero by 2030 is fast approaching and we have a unique opportunity here at Monroe that we can um, enter that space very quickly and, and ramp up to production in 2024. If you want to maybe uh, scan through here to the, the hardtop version. Mm -hmm. Also we can have a look, look around, maybe get a look at the inside of the vehicle. Yeah, so this was launched in December of 2022. This one's gone through an extensive testing. We've had that at over 27 live demonstrations to commercial and fleet businesses mm -hmm. and some private individuals as well and resounding positive feedback on its performance off-road. We're looking at areas of further development on on-road use case. Um, but yeah, perfect solution for any fleet looking to move towards the net zero. So I was just walking around the vehicle here, obviously it's got leaf suspension, not a suspension travel there, high ground clearance. Um, the seat design is pretty much the, the similar as the, the Land Rover 110, if I get it. My ID badge has got... <laughs> obviously this is an electric vehicle, there's no manual gearbox. Everything's very flat and angular. Little tray table here, you can put a laptop on or something. Um, there's a speakers there for a, uh, an infotainment system, a couple of screens, no analog dials, um, no airbag, plenty of legroom in the back. I'm just going to hop out and go into the back seat because <laughs> one thing the Land Rover Defender always had a problem was with where to put your feet. There's a reasonable amount of legroom back here. Um, if you were using this for maybe a firefighting or military applications, um, you'd want a bit more seat room in the back. That, that structural member there is probably going to be in the way of your feet, but apart from that, reasonably comfortable. So coming around to the front, socket there for a charging cable. Big electric motor under there. Obviously, there's no engine. Um, 
so there's no oil sump to worry about which means you can have a lot of ground clearance there this one's in a kind of matte black textured finish uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool Give you a better shot at this. So the two options, or well, the two body styles they're producing at the minute, there's a uh, double cab pickup, and this one's a double cab uh, hardtop. Uh, there's a possibility they might produce a single cab pickup. Um, I will definitely see that being used by farmers and whatnot. Um, other applications, you maybe get to uh, a sort of mountain rescue ambulance type. So, uh, mountain rescue and coast guard could maybe use these. Um, so, there's, there's definitely a lot of applications um, you could use these for. Um, yeah, the aerodynamics is very boxy, but apparently, it does have um, better aerodynamics than a, a Jeep. Uh, or Jeep Cherokee or Jeep Wrangler. Um, so, yeah, that's it's an exciting uh, prototype, and of course, if it brings jobs to Eastcombe Bride, even better. So, this is not the first Scottish company to challenge the supremacy of Land Rover. Back in the 1970s, Stonefield um, had a factory in Cumnock, and they made a it was like a forward control uh, four-wheel drive really competitive to the Land Rover 101. Uh, I think there's a, a couple around out that are um, sort of fire engines and industrial customers, but they didn't get the military market that they were really aiming for, so they never had. Um, the, the Land Rover 101 got the contract instead, so they weren't able to make the numbers. Um, but we were aiming for very small production numbers, uh, very niche market, um, so probably not um, aiming for the the sales figures that maybe the Ineos, Grenadier, Jeep Wrangler, Mercedes G-Wagon uh, get, uh, certainly aiming for industrial customers. Car engine conv conversion might be a possibility, military customers, um, so we'll see how they do. That's it, the Monroe Scotland's electric, 100% electric answer to the Land Rover Defender, the Ineos Grenadier. Um, so what do you think? Like if you like it, put a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.